you repeat that, please? Uh, what is the average cost uh, funding required to do an installation of a root server, the replica of a root server? Uh, in uh, in the experience of APNIC, well, it, it actually depends on the on the location because the uh, root server requires not only the servers themselves, which have to cope with the query load that they're going to receive, but uh, but also the routers, which will which will handle the uh, actually bringing the traffic in and routing it, and uh, both of those need to scale with the the query load. So. In, uh, in the case of the servers that um, that APNIC has been involved with, the uh, the cost could have been anywhere between um, maybe five thousand US dollars in the in the very smallest case, up to uh, more like a hundred thousand or one hundred and thirty thousand US dollars. At the at the higher end, you're talking about uh, very high capacity routers of a of a um, industrial scale, if you like, uh, as well as servers which uh, which can handle that load. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, just, just to add to what Paul said, I guess it depends a little bit also in, in how you define cost. If, if, um, in, and I think all the root server operators have different models. Uh, the way, for example, iRoot has worked with, with um, uh, host, oh, sorry, sponsors like APNIC, uh, they have gone in and, co uh, and covered the initial cost of the installation. Uh, we then ask our host to provide um, the facilities and we maintain um, the hardware and the site and, and cover the costs long term, so to speak. But these models vary between the, the different operators. So, um, But if you're interested in a root server instance, come and talk to us. Or if you're in any of the regions I mentioned, talk to, to LACNIC, AFRINIC or, or APNIC.